Hi there guys, uh, welcome to another dark and gloomy day in Cape Town. It has not stopped raining for about two weeks. Um, so I saw a special advertised on social media, which I thought might warm up my heart and warm up all of yours, is Snowmaster is actually offering uh, customers and clients to trade in their old 12 volt fridges uh, and they will actually give you 3,000 Rand or up to 3,000 Rand for a new fridge that they are launching. I think it's the EX67D, uh, which is a dual compartment fridge. It's a lot newer. It's a lot more energy efficient. Um, and it's just good value for, for money. And it's going to help me more with uh, what I want it for. As you can see, I've got the old Waco with me. Um, this is also a 67 liter fridge. Uh, unfortunately, I think this is one lid on the top. Uh, it's not very efficient. It's starting to drain power. It's starting to get a bit faulty. I'm finding it hard to find services and spares for it. And yeah, if I can trade it in for something newer to get 3000 Rand off what is essentially a six, uh, 16,000 Rand fridge, it's a, it's a bargain in my opinion. Um, so stay with me. Uh, we're going to go visit their showroom in um, in Pardon Island, and we'll keep you updated from what we find. Stay with us. Hello, sir. Welcome to Snowmaster. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. I'm here about the trading special. Oh, certainly, sir. You can put that down on the floor. Thank you. And someone will come shortly to assist you. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi there guys, I'm with the fine gentleman at Snowmaster here in Pardon Island. Uh, we're going to be trading in our old banger which is a 66 litre fridge. Uh, it's a 12 volt fridge that I use it for traveling. And we're going to be upgrading to one of their newer models that comes with a whole host of accessories. Uh, Chase, if you wouldn't mind just walk me through, you know, what I'm going to be getting for trading in my old banger for something that's top of the range in my opinion. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, so this unit over here right here is the SMDZ EX67D. It's a dual compartment, it's a 66 litre. The nice thing about this unit is you've got your stainless steel hinges, your lids are removable which is also fantastic. So as you see over here you've got your removable baskets which of these you can pack your fridge uh, uh, nice and comfortably. Are these baskets stainless steel? Are they, they are coated. So these they are, are coated, eh? These are the, this is from your Expedition series. That's from the Expedition series, eh? So this fridge, as you see at right here, has got 70 millimeters of insulation. So it's really good insulation for those long trips in Namibia, Botswana. So it's tested at very high ambient temperatures, 43 degrees and up, eh? 
Yeah, so, so it, it is, um, from what I read, it is polyurethane. Uh, because the insulation is better on the newer fridges than the older model fridges, yep. there's nothing wrong with this fridge. No, not Although it's, uh, it's very well traveled, very well used. For me, it just doesn't fit my application anymore. Sure. Um, just like you pointed out, the, the dual door fridge just makes it so much more uh, economically friendly. Um, I'm not going to be using as much battery power. It's got uh, three modes. Um, yep. I think this only has the one mode. Um, yeah, uh, there, see, so you've oh, got the little door alarm. Little to door alarm, so <laughs> after about 45 seconds, your door alarm goes off. So it kind of just warns you that, listen, your fridge door is open. Nice thing, which you forgot to mention, and uh, you can interchange your, your compartment. So can you, you can use this as your fridge, this is your freezer, or you can use that as your freezer, and this is your fridge, or both fridge or both freezer. So it's quite nice, eh? So depending on your application and where you're actually storing your fridge, you can also uh, interchange your control panels. You can have it at the front or you can have it on the side, which is quite a nice, nice little feature for you. Eh? Yeah, that will be perfect for my drawer slider system because sometimes they're fitted on the, on the right and you can't use it if it's all fitted on the left. Um, yeah, I completely overlooked that, but it makes sense to me. No, and then one of the lovely features or lovely accessories that we include in this is, is a wireless remote. It's solar powered. So okay. there's quite a little bit of, uh, it's got quite a bit of um, um, range, battery life and range, so okay. up to 10 meters, okay, so, wow. which is also quite nice. And if you don't have much sun, you've always got a little Android USB thing that you can actually charge your, uh, oh. charge your remote with. Eh? Oh, that, that's fantastic. So I have seen some specials from other units that are advertised uh, with uh, Bluetooth. Yeah. But the reason I didn't want to go the Bluetooth route is because nowadays everything is Bluetooth. Uh, the more devices you connect to it, it's going to drain your phone battery. Sure. You know, if you take into account uh, your wireless headphones, take into account adding a fridge, then take into account your smartwatch, yeah. then take into account, you know, Bluetooth connecting to your car's radio or CD tuner, all of that is going to eat your battery. So for me, taking the solar panel option is much better in my opinion, um, because I don't know when I'm going to be needing my phone, if it's an emergency, if it's for a happy snap picture, yeah. um, whatever the circumstances are. Sure. Um, and the best selling feature of this fridge would be definitely the bottle opener. Yeah, yeah. Definitely so, the bottle opener. So it comes with a bottle opener, which is also fantastic. So if you want to get a nice cold one or a, or a <laughs> coke out of a bottle, which is always the best, uh, you've also got your, your, handy, um, your handy bottle opener. Eh? Okay. And another thing is, one of the one of the reasons for me upgrading is I believe you're throwing in this bag. So yes. what, what many people don't know is that this bag makes the inside goodies so much more economical. Uh, it keeps it cold. It keeps it at its optimal temperatures. Unfortunately, this has a little bit less insulation. It's not uh, it's not 70 or 60 mil polyurethane. This is, um, but also the travel bag having it encompassed inside this uh, this over here, as you can see will mean your goodies stay colder for longer, but the most important aspect is not gonna use as much battery power. Um, sure, I could probably get a travel bag for this. Um, as you can see, I probably should have, but uh, I mean, like you can see from the, from the battle scars of this, um, I bought it because it was a budget purchase. Yeah. Um, it's time for me to upgrade and time for me to get something a little bit better. Um, like you said, specifically for my needs. Yeah. And I think at the special that you guys are offering, uh, it's a no brainer. Yeah. I did try to sell this unit myself. I will be honest on Facebook Marketplace. Um, look, I originally bought this unit for about eight. I thought, let me see if I can sell it for about four or five. Yeah. Um, I had no takers at four or five. Um, I went to three or four. Um, I had a few people that were interested, um, but the proof of payments that they sent me was fake. Um, so I didn't go through it and I just thought, you know, I've heard of absolute horror stories online, mm. you know, where people going to spend, you know, large amounts of money or trade goods for cash, they end up getting robbed, hijacked. You never know the circumstances. Yeah. So for me, Yes, coming to see you, reputable business, managing the trade-in, it just makes a whole lot more sense. I don't have to feel bad about it. I can tell you the light doesn't work. I can also tell you that, you know, these cables, these 12 volt cables that I've had have been damaged more times than I care, care to remember. And I've, I'm just tired of well, doing that. I'm just, yeah. I'm just tired of doing the replacements. And, and it is dangerous. Yeah. It is, you know, yeah. when you start to take different parts of different fridges to try and MacGyver something that works. So for me, look, newer is always better. Um, 
And with a brand like Snowmaster, I mean, you've been around for, for many, many years. Yeah, we have 20 years this year, so. 20 years, and I think you've got a range of about uh, 38 different fridges. Yep. Um, that's spanning across your leisure series, your expedition series. Um, if you pan to, the, to my left over here, you'll see uh, a range of accessories that they do do. You guys are very reputable. Um, yeah, I'd be silly not to take up uh, take you up on your offer um yeah so let's I mean, see what you can give me in terms of a trade-in and um, we'll take the matters from there perfect man so yeah is that it <laughs> that's it that's it thanks very much thanks for very me. much yeah it's, thanks, um, thanks for your time just to just reiterate the nice thing just give you peace of mind we've got service centers uh, in johannesburg and cape town okay so just to give you peace of mind there's always someone available for you and just to mention the warranty on the units, they do carry a three-year warranty and a seven-year on the compressor. So we like to say that they bulletproof machines and they really are. Eh? <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, look, with the travel bag, because this is stainless steel, I'm not going to get this, the tired, you know, wear and tear that I would exactly. on my Exactly. It's uh, a nice on, protective on cover too, eh? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a no-brainer in my opinion. Let's do the deal. Perfect. Right, I'm just going to take you through some settings on the remote. So to set your left-hand compartment, you click set once and you can go up or down. To click your second compartment or right-hand compartment, you click set twice and you would go up or down. Then very important is your voltage cutout. So to get to your voltage cutout, you would click set three times. So you've got 11.8, 10.7, and 10. We generally recommend you put it on 10 volts. Jack receive. Right. Okay. Right, the nice thing about this unit as well is you've got a high auto and low setting, which you can also set. So depending on if you want to uh, cool down your fridge nice and quickly, you could set it on a high setting. You could then set it on an auto or a low. So uh, we generally keep it on auto. Uh, but if you want um, uh, something or the fridge to be cooled down nice and quickly, we would go on to high. Nice thing about this remote as well, it's got a backup light, as you can see. So when you're in the dark, it's also quite a nice feature to have. And while you're finding your way to the toilet, you've also got a backup torch, which is also a great little setting there. Perfect. Thank you so much. Chase, thank you so much for my trade-in. No, I am you. absolutely over the mountain with, uh, with my new purchase. Um, and just to give the viewers there a little see at um, what they do classify as a decent trade-in, if you look at this unit here, what happened to this unit? Please tell me. I basically went through a war zone and um, <laughs> yeah, it just seems like it was dropped off the back of a bucket, it looks like. Okay? <laughs> but for, for somebody like this, can people still bring a fridge in this condition to trade it in? Please, they uh, definitely, as, we, as we've as we discussed, it's any fridge, uh, no matter the condition, we will give up to 3,000 Rand um, uh, trade-in assistance. And for a lovely EX67D unit, 66 liter expedition. Okay, perfect. I just want to be absolutely clear here. It has to be a 12 volt fridge. You can't get the guys bringing their old deep freezers and Samsung fridges and whatever else. It has to be a 12 volt travel 12 volt fridge. Portable camping fridge. 12 volt portable camping fridge. All right, perfect. So Chase, yeah, thank you, thank very, you much. very much. No, thank this you is, for your um, time and yeah. enjoy your new fridge and all the best. Absolutely. You'll hear about my travels uh, shortly. Looking forward to it. Thank, thank you. Thank you.